everyone. Um, my name is Vivian Plasencia, and I work as a software engineer in the privacy and scaling exploration team at the Ethereum Foundation, and I will be talking about uh, building with a semaphore. So this, uh, I will talk about the structure of the presentation. So I will start with what is semaphore, then I will talk about identities in semaphore, and then groups in semaphore and CK proofs. Uh, also, how to integrate semaphore into your projects, and the architecture of a semaphore decentralized application, and also some use cases, and I will show some code. And let's start with what is semaphore. So semaphore is a zero knowledge protocol that allows users to prove their membership in a group and send signals such as votes uh, or feedback or text messages without revealing their identity. So this means that signals are not connected to identities. And it also provides a mechanism to prevent uh, double signaling. So Semaphore is a public good project. So it's free, it's open source. You can contribute to it, and you can use it too. So uh, let's start with identities. So identities are the first part uh, to interact with the protocol. So you have uh, two, two uh, they are made up of two secret values and one pub uh, public value. So the secret values are the trapdoor and the notifier, and the public value is the commitment. So this is the way that you could create a, a semaphore identity. So this is a JavaScript code. It can be created with a JavaScript library. So here we have groups. Uh, groups are like sets, and, and they they are binary Merkle trees, uh, where the leaves are the identity commitments, and the other nodes are the hash of their two child nodes. And here is the link to the documentation to learn more about it. Uh, you can create groups uh, off-chain or on-chain. If you want to create them off-chain, you will need to use a JavaScript library. And if you want to create them off-chain, you can use the semaphore contracts. So CK proofs, uh, um, after you join a, a group, you, you can uh, send signals so, um, to prove that you are part of the group. And then you can send signals like, uh, such as votes or feedback or any other text message. And uh, you also need an external nullifier to prevent double signaling. If you, if you want to send uh, several signals, uh, you will need to use a different external nullifier each time so you can send uh, several signals and they can be verified. So CK proofs can, uh, are always generated off-chain, but they can be verified uh, off-chain or on-chain too. And if you verify it off-chain, uh, you can verify that it's correct. But if you verify it on-chain, uh, everyone could verify that it's, it's correct. So there are uh, three ways that you can use semaphore. Uh, the, uh, we have a CLI, a boilerplate, and also you can install the packages manually. If you want to create a project from scratch, you could use the CLI, or you can for uh, the boilerplate. But if you prefer uh, the packages uh, to integrate it directly, you can use directly the packages. And so the CLI, you could use it to create a project to get also information about the groups. And here are like the commands you can use, you can install it using npm, or you can use npx to, to create a project too. And there are three templates. Uh, uh, we have uh, contracts, and also uh, we have a complete application uh, using ethers, and another complete application using uh, the subgraph. Uh, all these applications are a feedback uh, application. It's a, a, um, where you can create an identity, join a group, and send signal and send uh, feedback anonymously. And the, the boilerplate, this is uh, the link, uh, the demo app too. Uh, you can fork it and use it directly. So yeah, uh, this is 
the link to the packages. You can use them if you want to integrate it and you already have a project, it's easier to do it this way. So this will be like the picture of a semaphore decentralized application. So we have uh, two parts, like the on-chain part and the off-chain part. In the on-chain part, you will have your contracts and um, you, you, in, you import the semaphore contract. And in the off-chain part, you will have your front end uh, and you need something to send the, the transactions because if the user send the transactions, they lose uh, anonymity. So you need uh, something like a relayer or a backend. Uh, you can decide uh, what you want to use. Um, in case of the front end, you have uh, you will create the identities there. You will also need to recreate the groups in the front end to generate the proof. So that's why you need the group and proof package. And the semaphore data package is to fetch uh, on chain data. So here are some use cases. Uh, we have here a Unirep and Mandala, but in this link you can find a list of projects so you can get more ideas and, and yeah, take a look at it too. So if you want to learn more about Semaphore, uh, you can visit the website and also join the Discord and go to the GitHub. And also if you want to learn more about PSC and all the projects in PSC, you can go to the website and also join the Discord too. Here are the links. And you can, these are the links for Semaphore too. Okay, so I will show some code um, so you can have more idea. Um, let's start with um, this. This is a, a Node.js application, so you can see uh, that for, for example, for identities, you only need to import the identity package and you can create random identities. Um, and you can also create deterministic identities when you pass a, a, a secret message, message that, that would be a parameter to you can recreate the identity that way. And uh, also the groups, uh, you only have to to import uh, the group uh, package. So here you have your identities and you could create a group this way. So yeah, it's like that. And for the proof, is similar, so you import the package and then you have the identities. This is the same code uh, I showed before for identities. This is the same code for groups, but then you need an external notifier uh, to prevent double signaling and then the signal. And this is the way you can generate a proof uh, off chain. It's always generated off chain. This is the way you do it in Node.js. In, in the front end, you cannot, you don't have to to use this file, we can do it uh, in the library directly. And this is the way you could verify it uh, off-chain. In the case of, uh, so here is the documentation, like uh, you can take a look at it and read about it. And the boilerplate is in the semaphore organization in GitHub and it, uh, it, it's a complete application as I said before, it's a feedback application where you can create a, you could create an identity and then you, you join a group and then you, you send signals uh, anonymously. And here, uh, something interesting is like, well, you have the contract. This would be the feedback contract using the semaphore contract. And then you have um, the web application, the front end, where you create the identities this way here, using the identity package, and then you you can join a group, join a group, and to send the transaction here you could use a relayer. Everything is uh, set up to use the open sampling relayer, and or you can use the a backend here. We are using a Next.js uh, serverless functions that's uh, good uh, as a backend and. And then for the proof, then after you are part of a group, you need to prove that you are part of, a, of the group and send a signal. So you, 
you need to recreate the group off chain uh, using the data package to get all the on chain information, and then you can have your signal and then generate the proof using to send the transaction the same thing like uh, the relay or the or the backend. So um, yeah, uh, I think that's it. So if you have questions, um, like uh, yeah, let me know. Yeah. Hello. Thank Hello. you for your inspiring presentation. One thing I would like to ask is related to another project, uh, public goods project from the Ethereum Foundation, the Ethereum attestation service. How would you say it's the main difference in the use case from Semaphore project? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, I don't know about, I mean, I have heard of this project and I don't know if it's part of the Ethereum Foundation. Uh, this project and and I don't know too much about that, so I know that this for attestation, but I don't know about it. So sorry. So I essentially, uh, with uh, EAS, I can uh, attest some off-chain data mm -hmm. and verify on-chain that this data is uh, was signed uh, by a certain person and it's valid. So it's pure uh, zero knowledge verification of off-chain data. Something that then Chainlink and the Ethereum Foundation are building and extending with Deco and TLS Notary to be a bit more, mm -hmm. you know. So you could think about that as mm -hmm. TLS Notary if you know yeah. that. I think that uh, they are not the same and and they are different, but they could be combined. So you can uh, achieve privacy uh, for attestations if you combine both projects. I think that uh, that could work. Yeah, but like with ES, mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to attest, for example, that my credit score, my, um, yeah, my credit score is above 700. I can do that and attest on chain and then the on chain contract could give me a credit score, a credit line of uh, X uh, dollars. And that is the use case for that, for uh, EAS. What is the expected use case for Semaphore? Is it more like creating subgroups of people like DAO oriented, governance oriented, or there is an overlap between the two use cases? No, I don't think it's, uh, I think it's uh, for crea uh, creating groups and mem group membership and whatever you want uh, for a group of people, yeah, that semaphore will work, uh, to send anonymous signal like votes or messages or whatever. And yeah, I think that they are different. Okay, perfect, thank you. Uh, so just to understand, like a group is essentially a Merkel tree of identities, right? Mm -hmm. And where do you store the Merkel root, like in a cent in one specific Spark contract, or yeah. how does it? Yeah, how it's do you on it? chain in the semaphore contract. It's it's on chain, but the members are at not uh, safe on chain, so we have to fetch uh, the from the logs from the event. So that's why we use uh, some, something like ethers or subgraph. Okay, so if I want to create a group myself, um, how do I manage the members? So what if there is like two people that create, one people that create 10 identities and claims to be 10 different people? Yeah, that's, that's something uh, different from the protocol. Someone should manage that with other protocol or something else. Uh, so. Uh, Semaphore is a protocol for anonymous signaling, not for uh, taking care of all the, these other things. So you should uh, manage that with, I don't know, an NFT. If you uh, ha have a specific NFT, you can join the group and you should manage that uh, in, a, in another way. Okay, so to create a group, do you have to call like add member for each member that's created or do you create the Merkle tree off chain and you just post the root? To create a group, you what? So when you create a group and you get like this Merkle tree and you have the root, do you post just the root or do you yeah, need to create? Yeah, just the root to check that it's correct. Yeah, because uh, it's very expensive to, ch to sa uh, save the entire Merkle tree and all the nodes and all these hashes. So yeah, only the root. Uh, so you have to fetch uh, from the logs all the members and off chain you need to uh, recreate the group and then uh, generate the proof and the rest. 
Okay, and who can create and manage the groups? Is, are there like any checks saying that only this, per, this account can, for example, update the root? Because a group can evolve, right? New members can be added, etc. Yeah. So how do you control that? Who the can admin put of the group. Ah, the admin of, so there is a concept Each of admin. Each group has of the group. an admin, and yeah, the admin of the group. Okay, cool. So, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you can always ask questions at, at the booth, and yeah. Thank you. Thank you.